Hey, Joe, pull this uh, this tweet up here in this next one okay. so we can have it on the screen. All right, next is from uh, Anthony Villa, and the subject is Bliss versus Lashley. How's it going, K100 crew? Recently I saw some mark online saying they could buy into an Alexa Bliss versus Bobby Lashley match since Ray has wins over Kane, Mark Henry, and Big Show. How do you think Alexa compares to Ray talent-wise since this fan brought it up? And do you guys think that Alexa Bliss versus Bobby Lashley would be a draw anywhere other than Pornhub? By the way, I love when Conan buries Joe. Keep up the good work, guys. Yeah, so Joe, keep Conan, keep that up I'm because sure. like it looks like our fans definitely do like. Uh, I'm sure you will. When you browbeat and bury bury Joe constantly. <laughs> oh, that's my pleasure because he has an over exaggerated <laughs> opinion of himself. So yeah. I am humble. Pull, pull pull this tweet up here. Let's, can you make it larger? Uh, sorry, yeah. I had it up. I, I, thought, I, I thought you saw it. Yeah, it's right here. Can you make it any larger? No, Actually, that's oh, it. That's it. Large yeah. All right, yeah. let me read this. Uh, res- well, wait a second. This is, this is just Marks talking about this? Yes. Oh, forget it then. No. The, well, the, the whole – yeah, I'd take this down. I thought this was Alexa Bliss and Bobby Lashley tweeting or something. No, no, so I'm not, I'm not even going to give this any credit. Uh, There's an idiotic uh, email submission. Um, We're going to get you suspended for a week for the stupidity. <laughs> okay. Just come on. I mean, bro, you – Alexa Bliss versus Bobby. Like, nobody's taught. No, who could, like, if some Mark online talks about that, like you said, I saw some Mark online. And you're, you're asking us what some dumb Mark online thinks about Alexa Bliss versus Bobby Lashley match, and you wasted our time having and you want us to answer this question? Suspended from the mailbag for a week, Anthony Villa. Make sure you mark that down. Yep. Um, <clears throat> here's an interesting one. <clears throat> from Jose Sanchez. The subject is Heel Eddie Kingston. Hey K100, hope all is well. I will get to it's Eddie. I'll get to his. I will get to it. Is Eddie Kingston making a mistake by not being healed? See below article that he actually wanted Sammy to miss the table, and this isn't the first time he says stuff like this. Not sure how much his character and how much is real, but he comes across as, comes off as an arrogant, annoying prick who thinks he's better than everyone, even though he's mostly booked to lose big matches. All that sounds like a perfect heel to me. Your thoughts? P.S. Get your disco candles at Amazon. Boom, and may KG be. T- by every member of the CZW locker room. Conan, that's that's a, he's using your lines there, but but I guess he's giving oh, credit to you. It's too late. He's been t- by every member of the GCW locker room. <laughs> the J- JC, JCW, right. NG, JCW, and GCW. Yeah. There's a, the IC, a ICP. Yeah. There's a uh, picture out from this past weekend in uh, Nashville where KG got uh, got to meet Stephanie McMahon in there. Arms around each other, big smiles. So KG's probably very happy about that. Maybe he thinks he's getting his inroad now to WWE. Okay, no, no, let me say this about Eddie Kingston. And probably Cody knows more about this than I do. But from Cody and describing Eddie to me. Okay, okay that news a, you just threw at us was very uninteresting. I'm sorry. But go ahead. Was, yeah. yeah, that's a good bear. But, that he took um, a picture with with Stephanie McMahon. Big he deal. He looks very yeah. proud, very happy. Yeah. Well, our fans are going to – you know what? People are going to send an email. Joe, why would you think anybody would care about that? I think I numbers will go up after that declaration. <laughs> you should tweet it out too. <laughs> All right, I will. Yeah. So, so let me give you my take on Eddie here. From what Conan told me about Eddie, because I don't, I don't know Eddie. I've never worked with him before. But he says he is, does have kind of a – speaks his mind, has kind of a big mouth. And, Conan, you did say this one time. He can be kind of annoying sometimes, Right. right? I will say this, though. And I, in his interviews here, he does come across like he's trying to be like a shoot guy. Yeah. Like right. when he does his promos, he says, hey, that's the outro. That's my end. You know, he's doing these things like saying like, like, like he's breaking character when he's doing the backstage segments like, you know, and stuff because like, that's like his gimmick now. It's like, he, you know, he uses these things to try to make it sound like, okay, I am, I'm, I'm shooting all the time. So I would suggest he's probably shooting in stuff like this, too. Because he's, right. he's, he's, he's trying to make it like he's shooting on the show, he's trying to make it, which is not a bad idea at all, especially in this day and age where a lot of these guys come across as very fake. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when, when you're cutting promos, if everybody thinks you're real, that's good these days because it makes it makes the show better. And staying in character and on interviews and stuff, that's good too. It makes you it, because people don't know if you're real or or, or fake. You know, it's almost like it, you want to keep that line blurred. That's good for the business, you know? So what, what do you think, Conan? Well, I didn't know who Eddie Kingston was till I went to TNA. I'd seen his names. I'd seen his name before, you know, because mm-hmm. he's been around a long time, but I didn't know who he was. But he had heat. When I got there, he had heat. And what do you mean, give me, give me, describe it. He with the boys or he with the office? Or both? With the office. Okay, for what? Uh, some relationship he had with some girl there. Okay. All right. And so he had heat. 
And um, so um, I knew that. And uh, Santana and Homicide and Ortiz are friends with him. And they kept telling me, you need to use him, you need to use him. And Sanjay also was like, you need to use him. So, And this we, is back when you were doing the LAX where you had your own little segment area of the show right. and you're doing the vignettes and stuff, right? Yeah. Right, right, okay. right, right. So then finally one day they were like, hey, would you mind doing LAX versus the old LAX? Homicide and, and, and who, who was old? Hernandez. Right, Hernandez. Homicide Hernandez, right. Right. And then they were like, and then they were like, we were thinking of using Eddie Kingston. Is that all right with you? Because they actually would ask me stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, let's use him. Let's see what he's got. You know, I had no idea. And he was absolutely great to work with, passionate, loved the business. He's got a big mouth. He's kind of annoying, but that's cool. You know, he did great promos. He did his job. He really got into his character. He was a great, great, great heel. And I said it on the show, and I was very, very, very upset when they let him go because uh, I was like, I can't believe that this guy was so good and you guys still let him go. Wait, so they got rid of him? Yeah. Why? After they did the angle with us, they got rid of him, Homicide, and Hernandez. And I go, why aren't these guys being rewarded for good work? You can't find something for them to do? You know, I was very mad, and they got rid of all three of them. And they you did. guys, because you guys had you and Eddie had some good face-off verbal battles, right? And the other two guys had good matches. It yeah, was oh, really, yeah. it was, it was really, and and uh, I was very, I couldn't believe it. I, you know, I, I, I told Callus a million times. I told Scott Diamore a million times. Why are you letting these guys go? I told Sanjay, why are they letting these guys go, man? But they did, yeah. you know.